Dear all, minister, mayor, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Arne Hansson Rannestad. Uh, I'm the general manager of 37 Degrees. Uh, it's my honor and privilege to welcome you all to this first ever edition of 37 Degrees in Stavanger. I am proud to present uh, our partners who have contributed with their network competence and given us critical support in order to establish and position 37 degrees. We hope to extend and expand our cooperation for the future for mutual benefit and value creation. We also would like to direct your attention to the chairpersons, Ruti Alon and Sigurd Perlsen, who have contributed with their great experience, knowledge, network, and that will chair uh, 37 degrees conference. Uh, Ruti Alon will be the international co-chair. She has 30 years experience from the medical industry until recently, she served as the general partner in Pitango Venture Capital, uh, Israel's leading venture capital fund, and where she has been since 1997. She is also the main architect of the Biomed Conference in Tel Aviv, with several thousand uh, guests and participants. In the planning phase of 37 Degrees, uh, speaking with uh, people in the life science community around the world, uh, we immediately were taken very seriously when we mentioned uh, Ruth Yellon. Sigurd Perlsen, until uh, 2016, uh, was the investment director of Statoil Technology Invest. He has been in the board of uh, six uh, seed capital funds in Norway, including Sarsia Seed, who is the only seed fund in Norway dedicated to life science uh, investments. He has a broad uh, business experience and has been responsible for several corporate transactions, ranging from 1 million NOC to 1 billion US dollars. Based on the research uh, that we did last fall, we uh, scanned around 200 companies in Norway, uh, Sweden, and Denmark. We decided to uh, focus in 2017 on, the, on these four topics, immunotherapy, digital health, robotics, and early intervention. Okay. 37 degrees consists of a conference and an exhibition. Our aim is to create a, an international business platform for life science and healthcare technology, where you can find partners, talent, inspiration, deal flow for investors, customers, and competence. So the following is my main message. In addition to enjoying the amazing program and speakers and panels, please take advantage of 37 Degrees as a business platform and meet people and search for what you need in order to bring and excel your company, your project, your career, and your ID. We wish you fruitful and happy days, and we also encourage you to take the advantage to enjoy the fjords while you are here. Okay. Then it's my great pleasure uh, to um, introduce the mayor of Stavanger. Uh, she has been our mayor since 2011. She's a strong advocate for business development, international cooperation, and job creation in Stavanger. Please welcome our gracious host, Christine Sagen Helge. Minister, they're all. It's a great pleasure to welcome you all to uh, Stavanger, the energy capital of Norway 
and uh, Europe. We are proud to host the 37 Degrees Life Science Technology Conference and Exhibition, and we are honored to welcome people from all over the world for days of sharing best practice to learn and to establish new contacts. You certainly represent one of the most important challenges of the future, to develop efficient and sustainable healthcare solutions. This is a combined conference and exhibition with excellent opportunities for established industrial co companies, hospitals and care providers to develop relations to existing and new customers, to meet startups, companies, and to find new talent. The Stavanger region now count around 300,000 people and is the third largest urban area of Norway. And we are, as I said, the energy capital and we host the largest and most complete energy cluster in Norway and I say also in Europe. Stavanger will continue to be a mayor oil and gas region for a long time to go. 50 more years at least. At the same time, are we working very actively with new opportunities for economic development? get so small behind this uh, <laughs> this one so I have to stand here today 22% of the people living in Stavanger have their origin from another country than Norway 22% and we have actually 181 nationalities living in Stavanger and I see this diversity as one of our strongest assets and the best way to meet our future challenges. We strongly encourage and welcome the establishment of international companies. We see the business, the technology, and not least the people and cultures as an enrichment to our region. And we have to create at least 10,000 new jobs in the region within 2020. The competence and technology from the oil and gas industry are a solid basis for new opportunities in many other areas. ICT, renewable energy and mobility are good examples. We also see several business opportunities within medicine and healthcare. And we have been looking to Houston for many years, and they have managed to develop a world-leading industry. One good example is a project called Pumps and Pipes, and I, I uh, think you all have heard about it. This Pumps and Pipes project provides a platform for transfer of technology, competence, and methods between petroleum and health. The last thing I want to highlight is our work with smart cities. Our ambition is to become the leading smart region in the Nordic countries. In Stavanger, we work on smart cities for three main reasons. Number one is our citizens. We use technology to improve the lives of people. In addition to smart cities, is new business opportunity. And third, is about efficient and sustainable solutions. A crucial part of this, of course, 
smart welfare and healthcare solutions. So, once again, I just want to welcome you to Stavanger. I wish you all the best of luck with uh, this conference and uh, the, all the important things that you guys do. Thank you and welcome. Now, please let me uh, introduce the rector of the University uh, of Stavanger. Uh, our university enjoys uh, a high ranking uh, internationally for its uh, petroleum technology. In a few years, uh, our university will have a brand new uh, neighbor, namely uh, next door, namely the new, uh, the new hospital in Stavanger, which opens new opportunities related to medtech and biotech uh, in Stavanger and this region. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Marit Boysen. Mayor, ladies and gentlemen, how can new technology shape the future of healthcare? Important topics are on the agenda. And it is my pleasure to welcome you all to the 37 Degrees Conference. As rector of the University of Stavanger, I see innovation and new approaches as key to successful, successful development. It is essential, in fact, uh, in facing the enormous challenges our welfare society needs to tackle. The University of Stavanger aims to be a driving force in knowledge development. Our focus is particularly on fields such as energy, marine research, smart cities, and health technology. There is a huge potential for developing the healthcare industry and healthcare technology in our region. The Stavanger region is an international and innovative region with a culture, culture for adopting new approaches. We have established strong connections between health studies, medicine and technology. Our extensive petroleum ex expertise gives us an advantage in a, in a world that is rapidly changing. We are now using the knowledge in the new areas. Could oil and gas technology be used in heart surgery and in the fight against cancer? Yes, definitely, according to the scientists in the Norway Pamps and Pipes projects, who are working on transferring petroleum technology to the area of healthcare. One thing is developing new technology, however, Putting your ID or product to use is another matter. There are many examples of innovations that could save lives, but have not been brought to the market. At the University of Stavanger, we recognize the importance of commercialization and entrepreneurship. Giving students and staff opportunity to develop products and technology that are subsequently put to, you, put to use is a priority to us. And this is exactly what our Tide Wave master's degree students are doing. The interdisciplinary student entrepreneurs recently received a grant of 1 million Norwegian kroner from the Research Council of Norway to further develop their ID. They have created a rotational module that can be placed on any bed base in combination with a mattress. The movement of the rotational module is helping turn patients with low or no mobility according to a predefined time schedule. And isn't that what entrepreneurship is about? 
making sure that good ideas don't stay as just ideas, but that they are transformed into new products, services, and jobs. You will meet two of our professors during the conference, Professor Kjersti Engan and Tatiana Yakovleva. In addition to gaining recognition for their projects in computer technology and health innovation, they are also highly engaged in facilitating our student innovation and entrepreneurship. Innovation and entrepreneurship is part of all study programs at the University of Stavanger. We offer courses in technology, health, education and economics that are designed to meet the challenges of today. Health technology is one of our priorities. In August, we launch our new Faculty of Health. We are working on providing a more comprehensive healthcare education in Stavanger, and we are even hoping to welcome medical students in a few years' time. The new hospital to be built on campus supports this vision. The University of Stavanger is already working closely with the Stavanger University Hospital, not just on health education, but also on research training and research projects. Our researchers work together in areas such as emergency medical care, patient safety, molecular biology, image analysis, and welfare technology. Stavanger is highly advanced in these areas and plays a role nationally and internationally. In collaboration with our partners, this is something we intend to strengthen and develop further. Research is currently underway that could solve the mysterious of many serious disorders. When the new hospital is completed in 2023, there will be even closer co co cooperation between the hospital, the university, and other research and innovation environments on, at Ullanhau. Education, research, and entrepreneurship are keys in developing health technology. Overseeing the education of 11,000 students, I'm very pleased that the conference involves younger people with the young 37 degrees program. The motto of the University of Stavanger is, we will challenge the well-known and explore the unknown. I think this is a suitable backdrop when discussing the technology and trends that will shape the future of the health services. Thank you very much for your attention. I wish you all an inspiring conference. It's now an honor to introduce the Minister of Health and Care Services in Norway. He's an experienced politician with more than 15 years in the Norwegian Parliament. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Bent Høie. Dear uh, Mayor Christina, dear all, it's a great pleasure for me to open this uh, conference here in Stavanger. Today's conference uh, is about uh, innovation and the trends that are shaping the future of healthcare system and life science. All Western societies face similar challenges, demographic change, an increase in chronic diseases, and the threat of antimicrobial resistance. The best way to meet these challenges is through research and innovation. We need increased cooperation between industry, academia, and our health services, and increased cooperation across borders. I'm very happy to see that today's program reflects this with speakers from the health sector, from academia, and the industry. My government has health and care as an industry policy priority. 
This is stated in the Government Action Plan for Implementation of the Healthcare 21 strategy and in the Long-Term Plan for Research and Higher Education. We have invested heavily in health research and innovation. Not only in my ministry, which mostly funds applied research, but also in basic research financed by the Ministry of Knowledge and Higher Education, and in industry direct programs founded by the Ministry of Trade, Industry and Fisheries. We do this because we see that research and innovation in health improve patients' life while creating economic growth and jobs. It gives us a double pay-off. Many of you are familiar with the two Menon reports on the Norwegian health industry. The reports show that all parts of the Norwegian health industry are growing. The industry is research intensive, internationally oriented, and has a great potential. All of us who are here today wish the industry to succeed. Personalized medicine, e-health, and large-scale data analysis has the potential to transform our health services in the years to come. From my perspective, we need to ensure safe and effective introduction of these transformative technologies into our services. If we are to succeed, we need hospitals and municipalities working together with industry and academia. This is the only way we can renew care for the elderly and create health and care services for the future. Business is part of the solution. The distance from forefront of the life science to health benefits for patient may be shorter than ever before in history. Today's conference illustrates this well. New knowledge, new technology, and demographic development is changing the health and care sector profoundly. From my perspective, the patients and their needs must be at the center of these changes. Research and innovation is key when aiming for higher patient quality, the development of a better health and care services, and more effective and affordable treatment. In addition, research and innovation also lay the foundation for new business development and the transition to a green, low emission economy. My challenge to all of you is this. Make sure your discoveries and ideas improve the lives of the patients. Cooperation is essential means for success in this across disciplines, sectors, and countries. And this conference is a very good opportunity to build new networks. Thank you, and good luck with the conference.